Hello and welcome to another episode of Not Quite Retro Gaming on Last of Wars channel. I am Last of Wari and this is Diana's Cave Adventure, ZX Spectrum 48K and 128K Metroidvania platformer game by Onrik Factor with music by Sergei Kosov, also known as MMCM. It was released in February 2024. The evil forces have stolen Diana's dead coffee, and now she's going on a quest to recover all of those hot mugs before they get cold. You see, her dad is an indie game developer who's working on a new game, and without his morning brew he won't have any stamina to finish the project. We absolutely can't let this happen. The adventure is not going to be an easy one. There are many dangers on the way, but Diana packs her jetpack and the laser gun and off she goes. Well, flies, actually. Check out the game on each IO through the link in this video's description. Our coffee mission can't wait. Let's get to it. Playing with the controller. And here we go with our mission. And uh, yeah. I can shoot, there's auto fire, which is cool, I have 99 life points and 16, well actually 2 marks to get and collect, cause it's a demo where you are limited to 2 of them but that's enough to demonstrate uh, the gameplay and stuff so let's see, uh, what do we have over here yeah, we can kill those lads and if we go there and back then they are spawn, so uh, gotta be very careful because they're all over the place and I bet these blocks, yeah, you totally can't really destroy them at all. It's nice that uh, uh, these enemies are limited and bound uh, down to uh, this geometry, or at least some of the geometry, I'm not sure if they can go through platforms and stuff. Nice graphics, nice music. And uh, the game runs absolutely smoothly, so uh, good programming. And I see, I can see uh, that uh, key over there, but it appears that... Oh, no, I can go back up, it just... I was a little bit stuck, so I had to go a little lower. But here we are limited by these pillars, and I'm going to die. Okay, still 80 points, so... Uh, how about I carefully get through it? Well, not so much carefully, but you know, it is what it is. Can I get back up? And uh, oh, I can, but there are folks and uh, uh, there is stuff. So I can try to get this mug, but this is not an easy room at all <laughs> with those fists, stone fists looks like that and uh, the flying guy is actually not that bad I don't think but it's just uh, a matter of uh, not stumbling into a block which sort of reminds me uh, some uh, Mario stuff uh, if I'm not mistaken okay so that's one of two marks that I can get but let's just explore, continue exploring the game, and maybe we'll go on a second mission. Who knows? Maybe not. Oh, yeah, okay, so you do have uh, hidden items. They do not restore a whole lot of health, considering the rate uh, on which I'm losing my health supply. But it's still nice to have that sort of stuff. Oh, yeah, I ran into spikes, so how about I just... Uh, go off there and I ran into a different mug accidentally and there's mission number two let's get to another part of the level right so uh, we have uh, this stuff obviously right we can get down there uh, and we were trying to go for that key which I wasn't able to get but now how about we go off uh, in a different direction or at least what feels like a different direction I can squeeze through it nice and kill that evil skull sort of demonic being and I can get under the platform which is uh, suboptimal but if I'll kill another skull 
I can uh, destroy this guy and now we have two intersecting uh, stones, spike stones. So the first part of the mission will be uh, to get to this ledge and then lower my position and then somehow get to that uh, coffee mug without losing too much health on my part. Okay, I think it can work out. Yep, ideally. And down there we have another little supply of health, which is very timely. Nice, nice game balance. But enough things to get, so I think it would be actually reasonable, even for me, I'm not a professional uh, platformer gamer, it would be reasonable to expect me to finish this game, or be able to, to finish it, so maybe I'll even buy it afterwards to play through its entirety. It's just 3 euros on uh, each aisle. You can get demo for free, which I recommend you doing, and uh, then you can judge if you want to play it, or you can just judge by my video, which can help you with that. And another mug in this sort of overworld area. Not entirely overworld, but at least we can see clouds. A single cloud, so that's like a window right here. And we finished the game demo. Again, Dano's Cave Adventure is definitely a very sweet platformer. You have every part of this title. Graphics, music, game mechanics, not simply very well made, but they also come together very well. Respawning enemies make this cave adventure a little bit harder, but not to some absolutely obnoxious level. And that delivers the experience that you can really enjoy. I do appreciate this difficulty balance very much. I think Diana's Cave Adventure definitely deserves an Avarian thumbs up. If you want to check out the game, you can follow the link down there. It is available for purchase in the same place, premiere 3 euros or more. If you feel generous, tell me your opinion in the comment section down below. If you like this video, you know what to do. Sharing it on social media always helps. It was Last of Awari, thank you for watching and hopefully I will see you later.